Hello boys and girls! Meet again for another Fun with English lesson. I'm Miss Hazreen and this is my good friend Yolo. We are going to have a good time learning English today. Yolo, are you ready to learn today? Of course, Miss Hazreen. I'm always ready to learn. So, what are we going to learn today? Well, before I ask you, I want you to answer my riddle. Okay, listen. I am a place where you sleep, eat and relax with your family. I am also a place where you protect yourself from rain and shine. Hmm, what am I? Hmm, it's a place we protect ourselves, eat, sleep, and relax. Is it a house? Hmm, you think it's a house, Yolo? Hmm, what about you, boys and girls? Do you agree with YOLO? Well, yes, you are absolutely correct, YOLO. Amazing! Yes, it is a house. So, today we are going to learn more about the house. We are going to learn the names of parts of a house. Parts of a house? Yes, YOLO. A house is a place that we live in. We rest and protect ourselves from hot and cold cold weather in a house. In our house, there are parts of places where we do certain things. There are places that we could sleep, we could shower, and where we keep our things. We don't do everything at the same place in a house. Now I know, what are the places that we could find inside a house? Miss Hazrin? Well, we will look at, like I've said before, we look at parts of house. There are eight of them. Are you ready, Yolo? Yes, I am. Then, let's begin. All right, boys and girls, I want you to listen carefully and look at the pictures. Then, repeat after me. Hall. Kitchen Living room Cellar Bathroom Bedroom Dining room Stairs. Well, boys and girls, were you able to listen to and repeat all the parts of the house that I've said? Well, very good. Let's try again. Listen and repeat after me. Hall. Kitchen. Living room Cellar Bathroom Bedroom Dining room Stairs all did an amazing job, boys and girls. So these are some of the parts of a house that we are learning in today's episode. Of course, not all houses are the same, but most houses have these places in them. Before we go to the next session, I am going to see if you could remember some of the parts of the house that we have learned. You will see picture and a jumbled up word. I want you to guess the name of the parts of a house. Ready? 
Let's begin. This is a... Yes, it is a bedroom. Next, can you guess what is this called? All right, now look at this one. This is a... Good! Now try to guess this one. It is a... Now, let's try with this one. This is a... Great! Now let's have a look at this one and guess where is this place? Alright, now tell me, what is this place? Good job boys and girls, you are all amazing! Now, let's see if you have guessed everything correctly. Now, what do we call this place? Yes! It's a kitchen! Look at this one. I know you know this one. This is a... Yes! It's a bathroom. Good! The next one is a... Cellar! Great job, boys and girls! Alright, let's move on to the next one. It's a living hall. Amazing! I know you've got this. This is a dining hall. Last but not least, this is a... Stairs! Great job, everyone! It seems that you can remember the parts of the house that we have learned in the first part of the episode. Now, let's move on to the next activity. YOLO! Do you want to see what's inside my house? Yes, please, Miss Hazrin. Let's go! Welcome, YOLO! This is my house. I have a small hall where I keep my shoes. We are now in my living room. I watch the television and have a sofa in my living room. Next to my living room is the kitchen. I cook delicious food in my kitchen. Right here is my dining room. I eat the food that I have cooked here in the dining room. These are stairs. I use the stairs to go up and down my house. Come on, Yolo. Let's take the stairs to my bedroom. This is the place I sleep after a hard day's work. I also have a bathroom in my bedroom. I take showers in the bathroom. All right, let's go down now. We are now in the cellar. I keep my old things in the cellar. That's all. What do you think, Yolo? Yes, such a big house you have, Miss Azrin. Well, thank you, Yolo. It's not that big, but it is comfortable for me. Now, I want to see if you could remember some of the places in my house. Boys and girls, I am going to show you parts of my house and I want you to listen again and tell me which part of the house. Let's begin.
I cook in my I sleep in my I take showers in the I eat my food in the I keep my shoes in the I keep my old things in the I use the to go up and down the house I watch television in the well done, boys and girls. How did you do? Let's listen again and see if you have got all the answers correctly. I cook in my kitchen. I sleep in my bedroom. I take showers in the bathroom. I eat my food in the dining hall. I keep my shoes in the hall. I keep my old things in the cellar I use the stairs to go up and down the house I watch television in the living room Wow! Excellent boys and girls! All of you did an amazing job for getting the answers correctly. Aren't they amazing, YOLO? Yes, Miss Hazrin. They are amazing. Alright then, let's move on to the next activity, shall we? Let's go! Hmm. YOLO, I seem to forget about what we have done just now. I need your help. Could you tell me again what we have learned just now? Sure, Miss Hazrin. Just now, we have learned the names of parts of a house, such as hall, bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, living room, dining room, Stairs and cellar. Excellent, Yolo. What else did we do? Well, you also showed me your house in case you have forgotten. Yes, Yolo. Oh, you remember well. I have showed you parts of my house, of course. All right, now let's move on with our next activity, shall we, Yolo? Yes, we should. But before that, let's hear about today's Fun Facts with YOLO. Hmm, I wonder what are the facts that you are going to share with us today, YOLO? Hmm, now let's look at Fun Facts with YOLO, everyone. Hi, boys and girls. We meet again in another episode of Fun Facts with YOLO. In today's episode, I will be sharing with you facts about animals and where they live. Yes, animals are just like us too. They need a place to protect themselves from the rain and the sun and also a place to hide from other animals. This place is called a habitat. 
whales, sharks, dolphins, jellyfish, and other sea creatures live in a habitat called the ocean. Meanwhile, animals like penguins, polar bears, and walrus live in the polar region. What about animals such as tigers, elephants, birds, and orangutans? Well, they live in a habitat called the jungle. There you have it, boys and girls. And those are some of the habitats where you can find certain animals. That's all for today. And until we meet again in another Fun Facts with YOLO. And we're back. Thank you, YOLO, for such an interesting fact. You are welcome, Miss Hazrin. Miss Hazrin, I'm afraid I have some bad news for you. Oh no. Why, YOLO? I saw many cats in your house. Cats? Oh no! I don't like cats. Oh. Here, let me show you. Miss Hazrin, there's a cat in the hall. There are two cats in the living room. There are five cats in the dining room. And there are three cats in the kitchen. There's a cat on the stairs. There are two cats in the bedroom. And there are four cats in the bathroom. Oh no! Oh, there are about 18 cats in my house? Yikes! And the cats have run to other places now. Oh no! Can you boys and girls tell me and Miss Tazrin how many cats there are in these places? Now, boys and girls, remember, when you tell us, use theirs for a cat. And there are cats in the... For example, there's a cat in the kitchen or there are six cats in the hall there's a cat on the stairs or there are three cats in the bedroom remember boys and girls we use a uh, in a sentence if it's one and are uh, if there is more than one cat in the house. All right, let's begin. All right, now let's begin. Did you get to see how many cats are there in the house? Well, if you did, good job! Now, let's see if you have counted them correctly. There is a cat in the kitchen. There is a cat in the bedroom. There are three cats in the hall. There are six cats in the dining hall. There are two cats on the stairs. There are four cats in the bathroom. There is a cat in the living room. There you have it. There are many cats in my house, Yolo. What should I do? Hmm. I don't know. I suppose 
You have to call someone to take those cats away. Alright, now, let's recall the, the name of parts of a house. Can you still remember, Yolo? I'm sure I can. Boys and girls, can you still remember? Alright, I need you to listen to my riddle and guess the answer. Ready? Let's get it started. Hmm. I cook my food in this place. What is it called? I sleep on my bed in this room. What is it called? I watch television with my family here. Where is it? I can go up and down with these. What are they called? Did you manage to guess the places correctly? Now let's see what are the answers. I cook my food in this place. What is it called? And the answer is kitchen. I sleep on my bed in this room. What is it called? If you've answered bedroom, well, you're correct. I watch television with my family here. Where is it? Yes, you got it right. The answer is living room. I can go up and down with these. What are they called? Yes, the answer is stairs. Yay, we did it boys and girls. Yolo and I are so proud of you. Yolo, before we say goodbye, what did we learn today? In today's episode, we learn name of parts of the house, hall, kitchen, living room, dining room, bedroom, bathroom, stairs, and cellar. We also learn to use there's a if it's one, and there's a if there are more than one. For example, there's a cat in the hall for one cat, and there are two cats in the bedroom for more than one cat. Do you have anything else that you want to say? Yes, Miss Hazrin. I have a question. In today's lesson, we use there's. Why don't we use there is? Is there is wrong? Well, you can use both, Yolo. Both there's and there is are correct. It's just sometimes in sentences we can we could make two words shorter. By making a sentence shorter, we are using contractions. Now I know. So it is called contractions. So Miss Hazrin, contractions is a shorter way to say two words. Yes, Yolo, you are absolutely right. Um, I will give you another example. Instead of saying, I have, you could also say, I've. Or, instead of saying, you are, you can also use, you are. Hmm, can you think of other examples of contractions, Yolo? Hmm, oh, I know. Instead of saying, I am, I could say, I'm. Excellent, Yolo. See, you understand what I have explained. So, boys and girls, in this lesson, you have learned using contractions in your sentences. Thank you, Miss Hazrin. I learned so many things today in this lesson. I am so happy. Wait, I'm so happy today. Oh, I want to learn more. Hey! You are using contractions, Yolo. You 
just said, I'm so happy. You shortened I am into I'm. <sighs> I'm glad that you want to learn more, YOLO. But I'm afraid that's all for today. Until we meet again in the next episode, boys and girls. I hope you had so much fun learning today. YOLO and I will see you in the next episode. Bye!